Hey everyone, Devin here, and welcome back to An Animator in the Making. The other day I noticed the 3D feature in Moho 13 and thought I'd give it a try. I never really paid attention to this mode before because I always thought it was related to background perspective, but once I started to use it, I was amazed at what this option could do. I then researched what others had done with it and was shocked to find that not many videos or tutorials existed on this feature. So I'm going to change that. Here are just a few props and background pieces that I made using Moho 13.5's 3D option. I'll be honest, I never thought the Z-axis in Moho 13 would be useful for anything I'd use other than maybe 2D background perspectives. But the amount of stuff I've made and learned that other people have made really surprised me. Like for instance, you can use vectors and do them in different planes to make them look like they're making up 3D shapes. Or you can just use the 3D option and actually make shapes be extruded to where they're like cube shapes. Or you can actually make them puffy and roundish to make other interesting shapes. It also has other filters, one with a toony look and one with a more smooth and realistic look. I also learned you could import 3D objects from other programs. You just gotta transfer them as .obj files. That just means that they won't have any transparency or possibly any effects you put on them. They'll just be kind of solid color slates. The most useful thing I could see this being used for would be figuring out the perspective of props so you could make a vector layer of it by tracing it, or by using it in the background so you don't have to keep kind of drawing that from a different angle. The only problem I had was when I tried to import a layer that had multiple objects in it. It would only take the first two items that were made in the layer. I also tried out Moho's frame-by-frame -frame feature, which is something I actually didn't know it could do. And all I'm using it for right now is to try and retake the basics of animation, like the bouncing ball, to try and improve my character movement, because most of my animations are just very stiff, and most of my characters are just very robotic looking. But with a little more practice, I hope to overcome this issue, and hopefully be able to get into animating more characters, so you just aren't seeing objects every month. No major changes yet, but I did learn with 3D I might be able to make a vortex that could go behind this instead of the particles. Which I actually think I would like better, so I'm probably going to do that. Beyond that, I think this is mostly going to remain the same, except I'm going to add more characters and maybe add some more 3D objects into it. Such as adding a sonic ring, or maybe swapping out one of the items in the frame. But I'd really like to see what you guys can do with this, so let me know down in the comments if you've ever made anything like this, or anything even better than this, because I'd love to know what this is capable of. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you all next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to know when I upload my next video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell.